Hi, this is Mrs. Koch, and I want to do a progressive muscle relaxation technique with you. It helps provide stress relief, will help you sleep better, especially during this challenging time. It'll prepare your body for looser muscles and give you a calm body and mind. Stand in a relaxed position. Feet place one shoulder length apart. Start off the exercise by tightening your eye muscles. Shut your eyelids tightly. Hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Feel that tension fade away. Breathe in and out. Gently pull your head back as if to look at the ceiling. For five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Relax your head on your shoulders. Breathe in and out. Now lift your shoulders up as if they could touch your ears. Hold for five seconds. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Feel the weight of your shoulders as they fall back down. Breathe in and out. Lastly, plant your fists and squeeze your toes together as tightly as you can. Hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Remember, this is something you can do on a daily basis. I hope you're feeling just as relaxed as I am. If you want another activity to think about doing, maybe a mindfulness, you can do mindfulness walking. You can kind of stop and listen. I hear birds. I hear a dog barking. I hear a car in the background. Things that I see. I see a person walking back over there. I see a dog. I see a stop sign. And we're coming up to some water um, as well. So things to think about when you're doing a mindfulness activity is just to kind of stop and really think about your surroundings, all the smells. Enjoy your uh, time. And hopefully this um, gives you another activity to think about while you're um, you know, in a stressful situation. Hi everyone. I hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to share with you one strategy today. It is called five things I'm grateful for. It's kind of scary out there and sometimes you feel that you keep thinking about the same things which we cannot control. So in those situations, I found it very useful to use this strategy. So again, five things I'm grateful for today. So I want to share with you how I do that and you try it at home as well. So five things I am grateful for. One, I am grateful for my house. I'm grateful for my home. It, uh, it keeps me dry when it rains. It keeps me warm when it's cold outside. Two, I am grateful for food on my table. And I wanna say thank you to any person, any employee who works at a grocery store, who works every day, it's scary to go to work and they still do it. And they do it so me, you, everyone, we all have food on our table to sustain ourselves. Three, I am grateful for my family and friends. I don't know if I would be able to live my life without them. Four, I am grateful for my health. You know, very often we kind of take our health for granted. And now it's so important, even more important, to take care of our physical and mental health. And finally, five, it's kind of silly, but I am grateful to have this ginormous puzzle on my table. You know I love puzzles. 
If you've been to my office at Grant, you probably noticed some puzzles around there. So I'll show you this puzzle. Here we go. It's a huge one, right? It's it's 2,000 pieces, and it would take me a while to complete it, which works for me, you know. In the situation with social isolation, social distancing, kind of staying at home, it's perfect. So, I am super grateful for that. So, these are five things that I'm grateful for today. How about you? Now it's your turn. What five things you are grateful for. One of my favorite ways to cope during hard times is to snuggle up with a good book. Something like planks or push-ups really don't require much time or hardly any space. Oh, hey guys. So when I start feeling really stressed out, I put on some comfy PJs and I always make sure I'm getting enough sleep each night and then I'm sticking to my regular routine. It can really help me to manage the stress overall. Now, when I get really overwhelmed and anxious, sometimes I do something that's called triangle breathing. So it's super easy, you can do it anywhere and you don't need anything to do it. So you can kind of picture a triangle in the air and you breathe in for five, hold for five, release for five. And you, some, you can do that up to like 10 times. It's usually about how many times I have to do it. But after I'm done, I feel so much better and less stressed. Whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed, I like to try to cook something new I've never made before. Always be safe around fire. One of my favorite ways to practice self-care is by coloring while listening to some good jams. Hi Bulldogs, it's Miss Skeels, and I wanted to share with you my favorite self-care activity or mindfulness activity. It's free and it's something that you can do every night and that's watching a beautiful sunset. All right, well, I hope you're all doing good and uh, you know, I bet if you're like many of us during this time, you have an overabundance of dry food goods. We got some oatmeal and some ramen helping to hold up this tower of excessive amounts of paper products. So one of my self-care strategies is to just try to kind of have fun with, with whatever I'm doing with the situation. And this might be why it takes me two or three times as long as the average human being to get some of my work done. But I had fun doing this. Uh, another thing is some people, you know, maybe you can find a song to listen to or, you know, learn some guitar. You've got some time at home. Maybe you can find a riff that reflects how you're feeling. Okay, I feel better now. It's a little crazy train. Seriously though, uh, members of student services, we're on our computers, uh, we're regularly checking our emails, and if you need anything, we're here for you. Uh, just let us know and be safe.